gorgeous. Doing fantastic, Tim. Good to see you. How are you tonight? All right, I just had to cruise the uh, the Type R. I'm gonna take out the R34. I'm sorry. I just I just got the DLC. I gotta I gotta experiment. Look at that. Even in a uh, time trial, just screwing around, it still gives you points. That's nice. Super nice. Let's go jump in again. Yes. Mm. Daddy likey. Some blobs four, nice. Sounds like fun. I'm excited for the new Call of Duty. Taking it back to modern warfare, man. Good stuff. Uh, there. Ooh, listen to that. Oh. Oh. I love it. Oh yes. This is this is like car porn right here. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, no problem. Just catching a little curb. My gosh, it handles like a dream. So nice. Not my prettiest corner. Look at that. Is that not just... Does that look great? Beautiful maps. Just beautiful maps. Ooh, it's coming in. Oh, super hot. Oh, yeah. Drift City. Come on. Cue in the Eurobeat. Let's go. Yeah, just getting squirrely. Taking care of business. Tons of fun. Beautiful apex. Oh, ugly. Yeah, we're sorry about the late stream. I know it's late everywhere for people, but we literally spent an hour trying to get the PS4 to work with a capture card here. Come to find out, I was about an hour in troubleshooting. And I go, you know what? It's got to be that st stupid DHCP. Sure enough, that's exactly what it was. Beautiful slalom and across the line. <laughs> uh, I 
did not get a chance to play the 2v2 free alpha on PS4. I did not, unfortunately. I didn't even know there was one. That's frustrating. God, that was fun. All right. I'm going to back out. I just wanted to try the two DLC cars that I picked up there. I'm going to actually go back and start from the beginning to show you guys some of the early maps and kind of how it starts. Because I'm actually pretty far in. Um, actually, let's back out here. Uh, this is from the beginning. Um, yep, exactly, Brandon. That's exactly what happened. We got this game, we preloaded it, and then we just could not play at all. It was rough. Yeah, so you're going to be buying it, Tim, huh? Day one for you? I'm excited for it, too. Uh, I'll just kind of start working on some of the the maps at the beginning here. This is where they throw you in. Very beginning. As you see, I have 89 out of 225. So we have a lot, a lot of stuff still to do and work through. And I think, uh, honestly, there's a lot of races, a lot of cars. There's just great replay value in this game, I think. Of course, I'm starting out here in this, the old Mercedes Benz that we will drive. It gets a little squirrel. Let's put this crazy ass. Oh, there we go. Let's take out the number 10 car with my emblem with dice. Look at that. That's so funny. Looks ugly as hell on there, but hey, we're representing. <laughs> representing. All right, let's get him. Whoopsies. Whoa. Sorry, bro. He was like, I can't take it anymore. Yeah, that, definitely I took an ugly corner there. They're gaining on me on that one. Oh my god, this thing is just lumbering. Doesn't turn for shit. See how they have little challenges throughout that you can play. Oh. Like this one, you have to stay on this blue line. And then it records a score. And then that gets uploaded in real time. You put it against your friends or global. It's pretty cool. Yes, this is the car you start with. I mean, it's not like a horrible car or anything. It's just doesn't turn. It's very, very heavy. Like I'm trying to e-brake it there just to get around the corner. Drifting. But see, that's not smart to do because look. This freaking Quattro right here is... Right on my ass. It's a long corner. What do they want me to do? Drift there? No, thank you. Clipping it. I'm clipping that one. I'm nervous. All right. 
Yeah, I agree, Andy. I agree. If this game would have done really well and had a good launch, I agree. They would have had some competition for sure. It's tons of fun. It really is. Saddle three? Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, I get to pick my hot hatch now. Well, you know I'm taking the type R. Let's go. Yeah, and I think the online is going to be uh, working till March of 2020. Ooh. Yeah, boy, this is a lot different than the Mercedes. Don't mind me. I'm just running my Type R into other cars here. V-Dub coming through. All right, buddy. Beautiful weather too. You notice that like the sun is down and it just has this oh just has this nice cool feel. It's cooling off. I don't know. The colors are just it's so good, man. It, all the way around. It's brilliant. Oh my gosh, that corner. Corner gets me every time. Oh. Gets me every time. You notice the sun is setting too? It's getting darker. Isn't that nice. He's right there. Nice. Agreed, Andy. Yeah, absolutely. The weather and day-night cycle on this game is way ahead of any other game I've played. I agree with you completely. Yeah, Tim, that is really cool that uh, you can play cross-platform on that. I, I think that's brilliant. I think it's great. And matches people up for what input they're using. It's just so good. Yeah, people are ex they're really excited about it. I mean, I'm not sure if that will be day one, but I don't know. The more I see it, I'll probably be like, mm, okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
Gazebo, you have a great night. Thanks for coming by and saying hello. Always appreciate it. We'll catch you later. rough Ugh. Terrible. Yeah, you know, I like, I like doing these because it's more or less kind of a... Me just documenting the existence. You now, because I think years down the road, you know, we're going to come back and re-watch these videos. Like, I've already gone back and... I've already gone back and rewatched my Excitebots one. And we were playing it online. And it just, you know, like it makes me sad, but it was like that moment in time, you know, everything was working, it was online still. It's really cool to see. I absolutely need a wheel for this game. I would love that. Yeah, and the licensing, uh, it's a good point, Andy. The licensing is usually about five years for things on these games, and it's just really, really sad. Actually, I saw, I follow one of the lead developers on this game on Twitter, and he was mentioning that today, actually. They were talking about it, and he was saying, yeah, the licenses are about five years, and then when they expire, that's it. And that makes me sad. It's like, dude. And then digital, that's scary. That's really scary. Oh, you can cycle the factory colors. Oh, word. Yeah, baby. Hey, under the circumstances, that was quite clean. That, however, was not.
We're just smashing through here. Nice long maps too. Courses are good. We're at halfway through right now. Look at the shadows too. I mean, I've seen shadows in new games that don't even look this good. Yeah, I'm drifting it. I'm drifting. Let me breaking it. Ooh. Misjudge that corner. like a hill climb. This is nice. This is fun as hell. Wow, what a fun course. Oof. So good. Oh yeah, that dirt rally. Yep. It is free on Humble right now. Good deal. Have some smoke. A little narrow. Oh, yeah, I'm just trying to drift. <laughs> this guy's like, who is this idiot? Who is this idiot? Destruction Derby. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I'm coming in way too hot. It's all right. It's all right. We got this. We got this. Similarian, what up? Oh my God. That was crazy. Good to see you. How are you tonight? Just running into, into walls here. Doing good, man. Doing good. Hmm. It has this like 
when I lift off the throttle, it has this weird, like, undulating drift. Like, it it kind of floats in one direction, almost like it's, it's unsure. I mean, I'm driving, like, complete ass, but... Definitely is taking some right right there. If I, if you lift off, if you lift off the throttle and have it turn turning a certain way, it it's really kind of a weird thing to describe. It's almost like it starts floating. And that's one thing about it or it just starts drifting. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, that was on a hill, of course, but That's one thing on this game, too, is every car handles completely different. Ooh, fireworks. That's nice. Leveling it up. It's the first time I'm using it. Getting a feel for it. Little Volkswagen challenge. Let's go. Roaring start. Oh, word. Who's that guy? Who is that guy? Must be an old, yeah, an old ghost. When I played a long time ago. Oh my God, Becky. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my back, my back, uh, glasses all busted up. Look at that. It's kind of a hard hit. Oh. What a corner. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's really weird, right, Andy? It's kind of like, uh, it like darts in one direction. Starts kind of, uh, floating. Which is weird because it would be not the case in the real car for sure. Wouldn't do that. Oh, this is just a, uh, like a, uh, a, a lap time trial ghost challenge. I'm just trying to beat, beat my, uh, score. Yep, there I go. That was my last lap. See if I can beat it. Beat my last score here.
No, not a corner penalty. No. Uh, I got to figure that corner out. This would be fun. You just keep playing it to like beat your score. Just going round and round. Oh, I did that corner way better. Look at that. And I beat my score because of that corner. Just barely though. All right. Good deal. Good deal. All right, so I've shown you some stuff. I'm going to I'm going to continue. I'm going to work a little bit. I'm going to grind and uh work on some new ones I haven't done before. Not the drift ones though. Those ones I got to I got to come back to. Let's see. It's my fave. I guess my fave is uh, get bent in the bent. Not sure. Seven Eleven launched their own Gatorade. What? Ooh, that sounds good. Lemon, would you say lemonade and orange? I mean, sounds yummy. All right, let's take the Bentley out. Take out big perp. Big purple Bentley. That's how you do it when you go to a race. You don't show up in just a Bentley. You show up in a purple one. Let people know you mean business. I'm here to mess around with you. Finish, top five finish. Okay. I'm gonna do my best. One thing about this Bentley, it's planted. It's just a big, beastly vehicle. It's thick with two C's. Mm. It's not pretty. Doesn't like to stop either. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, amateur. Amateur hour here. Yeah, I don't have him in the corners, that's for sure. Ooh. Semi dope slalom there.
Decent corner. Decent. Tried to really hammer on the brakes early on that one. Oh, wow. Killing it. And that little section, not pretty, but fun. <laughs> it's getting dark out. Lights are on. You guys are right on my ass. The Bentley, the big perp. I like Bentleys in the racing games I've played. They definitely uh, are not <sighs> agitated easily. You know, they're they're pretty well planted. All that low end torque. Got a lot of grunt. Ooh, thanks for the trophies. I like him. Nice. Polyester, what up? Good to see you. Thanks for coming by and saying hi. How are you? How you feeling? Oh, hello. Uh oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. Can I just... Can I just... Restart this round? Because that's... That's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. Just real terrible. Vaughn, what up, my man? Good to see you. How are you? And thank you for coming by and saying hello. Good to see everyone. It's those undulating uh, hills that really throw these cars off. That's for sure. Like, I came out of that hill. I didn't have to touch my brake, man. I came over the top of it, and my car was like, oh, shit. I like it. You know, it, it, it requires you to understand your machine and understand how to drive it under these circumstances, situations on the road. It's real cool. Again, it's a nice balance between sim and arcade. Oh boy. Excuse me. Yeah, collision penalty, all right. It's coming in hot. Just trying to figure it out, you know. Ooh, like that. Look at that. Sorry, Aston Martin, right there. Just taking it right in the Aston. Oh, I don't want to clip. Ugh. Come on, let's go. Nice. Nice, Vaughn. Got the NES on the projector. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. I'm just trying to look at chat on my straights here. 
That's how you do it, homie. Oh, man. No. Super thick. Don't like to turn, especially when you're going over a hill. Got a few scratches. They'll buff out. Uh, Polyester, the the work hours. Appreciate you asking. Thank you. They're going good. Uh, I just finished my second week of training here, so training is done. Now we're on our own, and my official schedule now starts. So. I've got the next three days off, so it's good. I'm going to try to stream. I'm going to do the podcast, try to recuperate, try to get some things done, and then uh, get ready for the new work week schedule, which is graveyards, of course. But, you know, I think, I think it'll be all right. Get through it. we got to do what we got to do, you know. But I appreciate you asking, man. Oh, Cobra Triangle Vaughn. That's one of my favorites, man. Love that one. That is a rare, rare produced game. Not a lot of people know about that or talk about that. It's such a great, great game. Beautiful looking, too. All right, so we knocked that one out. Britain versus Germany. We're just going to continue on. Keep playing some stuff here. Let's try... Uh, try the Lotus? Haven't even driven it before in here. Let's try it. What are, the, what are the colors we got? Oh, yeah, let's take yellow. Let's go. Do a little hill climb. Car is lighter. Hopefully we can get that going. Oh, yeah, check it out. It's uh, on NES. Cobra Triangle. It's super cheap. You can find it. I mean, it's always been a cheap game. Kind of a... Really, I think it's an under... Actually... If you really want some blast from the past nostalgic, I wonder if we can post it. Can one of our, uh, I guess Steph is the only mod we have right now. Steph, can you go onto my YouTube and find the video that I posted? Oh, I don't know, almost 10 years ago at this point. <laughs> and post it in here and watch it. Just bookmark it and come back to it. But I did a video game review of it a long time ago. And uh, you should watch that. And then just go buy it and play it. It's a great game. You're gonna get you're gonna get old school EMU review style on that one, for sure. All right, let's see how this Lotus does. I'm nervous, but excited. Oh boy, we're a drifty girl. We're a drifty girl. Wow, you see that? Hello. All right. I feel like this car would not be drifty in real life, but whatever. Oh yeah, look at me go, look at me go. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this car is is fast. It's nice. It just doesn't handle like I thought it would. It definitely is very drifty. Which surprises me. I mean, freaking Lotus Elise? Like, weird. Oh, yeah. It'd be a good drift car for those drifting events. Oh, what the hell? Let's throw it into a corner. Get sideways. Oh. oh no, not photo mode. What's reset? I just want to. <laughs> I went into photo mode. I'm trying to reset. Uh, cancel. Oh, it's that one. Oh my goodness. It's 
It's the left side on the, uh... Beautiful snow, isn't it? Yeah, like, look at- Oh my goodness, come on, for real? I just left off the throttle on that corner and it just- See you later. Oof. See if I can catch this guy. No. I do not like the way this car handles. I can't believe it. Figure I would. Be like light, nimble, grippy. It's not at all. Oh. Well, now I'm just thinking about it. Crashing and everything. Yeah, I'm not going to catch this guy. He's cruising. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's just, uh... Let's just pick another car for that one. I'll get that handled. Oh, dude. Hey, I mean, Chaos is one of my favorite games of all time. Absolutely wonderful. Trying to find something that's got... Uh... Yeah, let's go with the spiker. Let's try it. Big orange. And no, I don't actually own the arcade anymore, unfortunately. It's tough, man. I was moving a lot at the time, and I had five arcade games. And it was just a lot to, uh, a lot to move around by myself. So I, unfortunately, sold them. But I, they, got, they went to great homes. They're in private collector's homes now. It's very, very nice. Seems kind of drifty, too. The, oh, you know what's funny is I'm playing this now, and I love this, but even though even though it's lower resolution on the PSVR, like, I literally, I just really want to play this in VR right now. It's just so much fun. And even though this is, you know, 1080p, 60 frames, it's beautiful. I know it's dumbed down a bit on the VR, but just being able to look around and, ah, oh man, the immersion, it's so fun. That's why I keep talking about VR recently. It's, I feel like I would really enjoy having a legit VR for PC setup. All right, Andy, you have a great night, my friend. Good to see you. Thanks for coming by. And see, that's what happens when I look at chat. <laughs>
those hits just sound so brutal. This car was a much better choice. Yeah, that Lotus, man, it was just... Very, very temperamental. It's like telling a kid he can't have candy and then the kid just freaks out. It's the end of the world. That's how that Lotus felt. And I'm just, I'm just hitting corners. I just hit that sign with my big old booty. Just was like, boop. My big old thick booty. Oh. All right. Level up. How should I try now? Try try the California. Let's go with a So many cool colors. So many cool colors. What a big orange for Steph. He likes orange. Taking it to the desert. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I tried to cut the inside of that one. That was a mistake. I do like this car though. It's not as drifty. I guess what I should do is I should really look at the stats and find a car that like the drift is like zero or close to. See, you can break it sideways. You can get it going. But you have to force it. Just bumper cars. Oh, two Californias.
Oh, just ugly ass corners, but it's okay. We're here. <laughs> Oh, that was beautiful. Hope you all saw that. It was pretty nice. Oh, that lotus, though. At the top end. <laughs> Lotus just walking on this Ferrari. That was fun. That was a fun course. Uh, speaking of racing games, how is Grid for Nintendo Switch? Never heard of it before. Um, yeah, Grid is from Codemasters, one of the best in the business when it comes to racing games. Uh, and I'm going to be picking that up day one. I don't think it's out yet, actually. I think it comes out October, November-ish? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they updated it. But uh, they're doing a different version for Switch, uh, which I think is smart because the Switch isn't can't handle the same type of graphics that the other consoles and PC can, so they're making a different version. I think that's smart. Uh, I've been a fan of the Grid series from the very beginning, even back before it was called Grid. It was called Toka Race Driver Grid back in the day from Codemasters. And, uh... Yeah, brilliant game. It's... It's more arcade than this, for sure. Good, I got it. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm <laughs> I'm getting nervous here. Oh, the Bentley. Big perp. We're back. Ooh, at night. I have not, Steph, no. I have a lot to do still. It's exciting. Oh, boy. Boy, this is some ugly, ugly-ass race, and if you, if you ask me, 
Oh my goodness, just pile driving. I gotta get up here, top two? Oh, that corner. God, you almost have to fight dirty to get through that pack. Ugly. This corner is not going to get me this time. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Didn't get me. I was ready. I was not ready for that one though. No. Oof. Got lucky in that one. Ah. Yeah, the game is um uh go going to be delisted tomorrow and or today actually. And then uh March, yep, stuff you got it. March 2020 the online will be taken away. Uh, I do actually. Uh, updates will still be available. DLC content will not. Yeah, actually, I follow the uh, one of the lead developers on Twitter on this game, and uh, they were talking about it today. I did read that. So, like updates uh, and patches will still be there, and uh, but the DLC stuff will be gone. Anything digital will be gone. It absolutely is a licensing issue. Yeah, they confirmed that today. Unfortunately. That and they disbanded the studio and, you know, there's nobody that's really working on anything for this game anymore. So it's just not supported anymore, you know. It's so sad. Uh, this game came out in 2014. Very, very, I mean, too soon. Too soon, Junior. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find a different vehicle to uh, to drive. So, yeah, let me look now. I want to find one with, like, no drifting at all. Okay, yeah, the California, that for sure. Yeah, the Bentley. <laughs> Funny, I'm using the cars with no less drifting. I find that, uh, yeah, they, uh, yeah, the Bentley is, uh, almost your best bet there. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go with it. I'll keep rocking it.
It is always good to catch you too. Ivory, thanks for being here. I know our schedules do not align. You know, I don't think the schedule aligns for me either. Like, it's just like schedules are so screwed up. And so we're trying to nail down more of a schedule for streaming and being online and doing things. But it's hard to do that when my schedule has changed so much and I hate it. And then, of course, today we were trying to set up and our PS4 wouldn't connect to the capture card. We had nothing but issues. I mean, you know how it is, dude. Like. Just another day in paradise. Uh, I don't believe this game has any Mazdas in it. I don't remember seeing a Miata, but we can go and double check. Maybe a DLC pack? I'm not sure. We'll go look. After I uh, get done playing bumper cars with this other Bentley here. Oh, take the inside. That was dirty. Yeah, I deserve that. Excuse me. Oh shit, I got a flat flat out through that. I panicked. Come on, Bentley. Pull out your legs, let's go. Oh comes the Aston. Here we go, hard on the brakes. Oh, it was too late. Ah, this game is so fun. The connection you have is really, really nice. Oh, I also just were a little. Oh, what's going on here? Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna get a penalty for that. Holy shit, that was tricky, bro. That was dirty. Um, a little pro tip. When you start the game. Maybe I accidentally hit it or something. I don't know, but the camera shake was on 100%. And when, when you're racing, it's like like you're having a seizure. Shit is just fucking shaking like crazy. So make sure to go into your settings and turn a camera shake. I turned it to zero. I, in fact, I don't like any camera shake at all. Makes me dizzy. No, I'm, I'm not in for the, uh, like... The shake, shake. Shake what your mama gave ya. Oof, got it. The Canadian Open. We're just knocking them out now. I'm working through some of the uh, single player, some of the story, the campaign here. I mean, might as well go with the Bentley again. You know, it's working for me. Big orange. Orange, you glad I picked that car. Oh.
Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, we uh we have a problem. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, I'm not even looking at the road. I'm like, yeah, I'm cruising. Maybe I'll just restart this, uh... the session wait this is a new one yeah yeah we're all right it's just a new one there we go did it twice did it twice I love how you can hear the turbo spooling up in this car. It's amazing. When I come out of a corner, I just hammer down on it. And just hear it spool up. The attention to detail is, oh, damn it, is unrivaled. It's just beautiful. And this will be my last lap here. There we go. Beat it by a second. There we go. That one's just you keep going until you beat your score. Noli, what's up? Good to see you.
That's a great question. Is there any type of games, any type of racing games in particular that when you first played, you were like, this is my type of game? Uh, wow, that's a huge question for someone like me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's honestly, there's been many, many, many games. Um... This is one of them, to be honest. This is a brilliant game. I love everything about it. But uh, talking even like earlier games, uh, Rush, the Rush series of games in the arcade, and then also when they came home to consoles, I played them a lot on N64, that art, uh, arcade style. This is my type of game. What, I miss a star here? What did I not get? Oh, lap time. I got to beat the lap time. All right, well, I'll come back to that. Um... Uh, Excite Truck and Excite Bots. These are all ones you guys all know about. Um, <laughs> flat Out. The original Flat Out. 1 2 and Ultimate Carnage. Those are just games that are just perfect in so many ways. Yeah, man. So, I mean, I, I could talk. I could do a whole podcast episode on that. And maybe maybe I will. Maybe I'll do a... Uh, maybe I'll, I'll put that in as uh, uh, an after party. I'll talk maybe a little... I'll go in deep about some racing games or something. Or I'll make it a, a segment on my show for a little bit. Ooh, this is the, uh, the V10. I think, right? This is the... Uh, Audi, uh, R, what's it called? It's amazing. This is, oh gosh, coming in really hot on that guy. Did you see that? Just running right up to his butt. Hey, butt buddy, coming in. Oh, yeah, that would, that's going to piss someone off. Oh. Oh, <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah, I mean, I have all kinds of plans for doing the, uh, the Heine House after party, to be honest. Lots of ideas. Taking certain genres, taking years in gaming, taking franchises and talking about them. Doing a lot of cool stuff that will all come. Just hear everyone crashing. And it's really everyone's mad now because it was basically my fault. I'm the one that caused all this. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Let me just get this under control. I think this car actually is pretty good. Doesn't drift all crazy. It's, the acceleration is on another level. Handling's really nice too. I like it.
beautiful race. That was tons of fun. Tons of fun. Oof. I know. I need some more Eurobeat for sure, especially in these corners. Oh, the R8. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. I like the R8, man. That's good. All right, one of that was one of three. So, uh, oh, two. No, two of two. Okay, so this last one. Do it. I'm really not trying to hit everyone here. I'm trying to just take these lines, but they're not very not very clean. Super intense. Oh, he took that corner super clean. That was nice. Oh my. Just got punted. Just got punted. All right. They're out for blood. finish top five that was crazy at the end
Oh, a semi-pro trophy. Oh, wow. Here we go. All right. I'm scared. We take the Nissan out. Let's take it out. Excuse me. Coming in hot, folks. Jeez. Damn, this car has some of the best brakes in the business. And it's cornering, man. It handles really nice. I mean, it should. It's GTR. Doesn't have the speed, though, so you have to really... Got to really hit him in the corners like that. Cut in. Oh, look at that. Clean overtake. Oh, not yet. Still there. Yes, this speed is where they're going to pass me. They're going to get me there. Oh, but the inside. Damn, this thing cuts. Let's see if I can draft him. Come on, go, 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 go. Draft, let's go. This corner, though, flat out. Get down here in the draft. I'm already pegged. I'm redlined. 160. That's all I got. Whoa, shit. Oh, yeah. Best brakes in the business. You see that? Just came in on the inside, hard on the brakes. I mean, I'll get him in the corners, but the rest of it, I don't know.
I may have to get dirty. May have to get. Oh, no, 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 no. I am going to have to get dirty. That corner, I screwed it up. Oh. <laughs> I took one out. <laughs> hey, draft this guy. Can I get up in here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not over yet. Oh, no, no, I'm losing it. Fuck! I lost at the last. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Dude, no. Oh. <laughs> I was drafting so hard. I just like it was almost like a shot of nitrous and I just lost it. Oh No Oh That was rough <laughs> Well, it's top five so whatever I got fourth that wasn't pretty that's was a fun fun course for sure What up, Brian how you doing man good to see you Oh, that was, that was rough. I'm doing great, man. How are you tonight? How's the old Northwest doing? Holding it down? Oh, excuse me. Just saw a big fucking British booty in my face. Man, this is this is a uh, yeah, excuse me. I did that on purpose. But there's a, I got to love hate with this car because it doesn't drift as it shouldn't. It's all wheel drive and it's very well planted. Um, acceleration and handling are you can't mess with it, but it doesn't have the speed. It can't keep up. It can't hang with everyone. So I'm just trying to really take corners. Well, I'm taking them ugly shit right now, but see like right there. Look at that. I just cut it, cut the corner right on the apex. But then look, this fucking Aston Martin is taking, letting me have it in the Aston. It's very tricky. Oh, what are these guys doing here? Oh, I'm oh I'm panicking. They lost it. When I T-boned the shit out of that guy. Wow, did I not get a corner penalty for that? Damn. Hop, skip, and a jump. That was ugly. I'm cutting too much on it. I need a steering wheel. I really need a steering wheel on this game. See how they're breaking? I'm not breaking at all. I'm just lifting, cutting the apex, just hammering down. Come on, dude.
Come on, GTR Power. Let's go. Where are your legs? They easily would have taken me. Oof. Got him in the corners. All right, Noli, have a good one, man. We'll catch you later. I wonder, can you upgrade these cars? Tune them? I don't know if you can. I don't think you can. All right, working our way through, though. that launch such a good launch dead last great launch <laughs> oh my goodness I mean I wasn't ready to break yet Everyone else was. Definitely not squeaky clean. <laughs> God. No, not again. All right, Vaughn, you have a wonderful night, my friend. We will catch you later. <laughs> I'm just trying to get dirty. I'm trying to get in front of them so they don't pass me. And they're like, get out of my way, you asshole. Best brakes in the business. Oh, I killed that corner this time. Should I take the outside? That guy's not having it. Not happy. Took that corner better this time. Not going to be able to draft this guy, though. Still, well, I pulled second. That's not bad.
<laughs> you are welcome, Tim. It's always a pleasure to have you. I'm glad that I'm glad that we can be there bedside with you. You chilling out? And you got the iPad up right. You got it on a stand. You're right there. I mean, that's that's where it's at. Hey, be on the lookout for Steph's ASMR videos. You might really like those too. Those are coming out real soon. Real soon. All right, did I just win that championship? Did I do it? I think so. Yeah. Coming real soon. <laughs> oh yeah, let's take let's take the uh, mono out. Absolutely. I love this thing. Excuse me, everyone. I'm coming through. Oh yeah, can't mess with the Bach in the corners like that. Can't mess with it. Undulating there. Murasama, oh, it's been so long. How are you? So good to see you. How are you? What's going on? That was an intense race. Oof. 
rolling through there. PSP Gamer, what up? Good to see you too. How are you? Thanks for rolling out. How you feeling? Yeah, we're just we're just chilling. We're just here playing some drive club. Just enjoying the evening, enjoying the day. Pretty fantastic. Absolutely did, PSP Gamer. It helped greatly. Yeah, I, I'm really going to look at all your the info you said there. And um, mull it over. Still have a lot to think about and research. I mean, on top of I'm not I'm in no position to really buy a VR setup right now anyway. But, you know, down the road, I feel like the longer I wait... I think the easier will be because it will get it will be cheaper and or they'll be coming out with newer versions better versions they're always improving so I'm in no rush I just want to make sure I get the right one and spend the money wisely so I appreciate your advice that's that's the community man that's why it's why it's why I'm doing what I'm doing I just love it Love the community, love talking with you guys, love hanging out. Love hitting these corners at 150 miles an hour. Oh gosh, beautiful, look at that. Little tap on the brake, cut the apex on the inside, and away we go. Of course, these straightaways, though, these are scary. This is where they're going to catch me. Because you can already see them gaining. Here they come. Not smart. Not smart. Oh, man. I didn't want to break there. I thought I could coast through it, but nope. Damn it. He's right on my ass now. Flat out. That's how you take that corner. Nice and easy. Oh, got the box sideways just a little bit. Got nervous there, I lifted. Don't want to lose my grip. It's a great machine. I love this thing. All right. We're knocking him down. Level up.
What do you say? I think we got time for a few more. Oh shit, this is a drift one? Oh. Uh, these ones are crazy. Not the biggest fan of the drift ones. Drifting is definitely not the strongest point in this uh, game. Oh, luckily I got it. Jeez. All right. Oh, we can take out the uh, the aerial atom. These crazy ass cars. I'll take out this one. Let's try it. Let's try the atom. The crazy Adam. Wow, this thing is drifty. Wow. Oh, yeah, no way. No, uh, no. Nope. That blows me away that it's so drifty. The aerial atom? That is surprising. Yeah, you guys playing WoW? You getting in there? WoW Classic? You waiting in those queue lines? Are you dealing with that? Got it. All right. All right, we got a championship here. Roll with it.
the Gumpert. No, we're gonna go with our. Uh, I'm gonna go with our Pagani here. Why? Because it doesn't drift. And that's what it's all about. We like a non-drifting car. I like one to be planted. I think next time I stream this, I'm going to try to do it in VR. What do you guys think? Should I try it? I won't be able to read chat, though. I won't be able to see anybody. That's going to be kind of weird. I'll have to have, like, a text-to-speech or something so I can hear it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. It'd be really fun, though, do it in VR. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I said no drifting, but Pagani's getting it. Just getting it, digging deep. Oh. Let me uh, get this under control here. I'll do that twice now. Oh, come on. Not pretty. Not very pretty on the corners there. Oh, I didn't do it that time. That's right. Come on, that wasn't even wasn't even goosing it for that corner. Come on. Fuck, I, I do that every single time.
What? Come on now. Oof. Some intense racing. Oh, <laughs> look at my car. It's all screwed up. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, I honestly, Mudu, I agree with you. Yeah, I agree completely. I think that in VR, for one, they unlock everything. It's, it's completely open. You can just do whatever you want. But I feel that the game plays a little different in VR, and I, I almost prefer it. Yeah, I agree with you. It's weird how that works. But it just, it, probably just because it feels different, because you're actually, like, looking around, you know? Executioner, what up? Thanks for the host. Appreciate it. Who's popping smoke up there? Damn, five laps of this. All right, it's going to be intense here, folks. Bear with me. This thing just really wants to kick out and drift. Every chance it gets on those corners, it's really hard to tame it. Even though I thought this car said it didn't drift. It just has so much power that it just wants to kick out. Where's my traction control? No, I'm not trying to drift it, but we're there, so let's go let's follow through with it.
damn it. Messed that corner up. Oof. Boy, I had to focus on that one. Very technical. Very technical. Oh, Brandon, my man, have a great night. We will talk to you later. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, yeah, Steph, you got to get all those uh, Happy Meal toys. Peanuts. <laughs> Yeah. That's Drive Club, y'all. We, we can do some more. We'll do some more uh, another time. I think uh, I'll try to even get the VR going for next time. Could be a lot of fun. I wonder how that would look on stream. Might be cool. What do you think? Maybe? I think so. I mean, you guys can see what what's being the output to the TV. So that could be fun. Yeah, lots of stuff to do. Lots of fun. We'll give it a whirl. Uh, appreciate y'all hanging out. Thank you so much. Much love to Evolution Studios. Rest in peace. And the entire Drive Club team. You guys are amazing. We love this game. I'm so sad that it has such a bad launch. It's hard to foresee those types of things. You know, you feel like you're prepared and then stuff happens. But uh, you eventually found your way. You eventually got the game to where it was supposed to be and it's brilliant it's really probably one of the best games at least racing games on the playstation 4 it's definitely a standout title and i will continue to play it for years to come both in this version and in vr appreciate all of you hanging out on twitch and everyone who hung out and watched on youtube you guys have a great night we'll see you again bye now